Okay friends, it's time to get started on replacing our front grille. To do this, it's going to be easiest to see and do with the bumper cover off of here. What we're going to have to do is go ahead and remove all of our upper push pins across the top here. And if you wanted to do this without removing the entire bumper cover, you could carefully try pulling this apart, sticking your arm inside here to start releasing the tabs. But to be able to see it and to be able to do it a little bit easier, I'm just going to remove the bumper cover so you can see exactly what's going on. Underneath the front, you're going to find all the pins that look just like this. We're just going to carefully get in between this area. Essentially, you want to pull out the center aspect of this. That's going to unlock the push clip. And then once you have it out far enough, the whole thing should just pop right out. All right, so that's what it looks like. Once you pull out the center locking aspect, it releases these two ears, which makes it so it's unlocked, and you can go ahead and remove it. Let's go ahead and do the same all the way down the line here so we have access. Now that I've got all the outer portion done, we're going to continue on right here. You're going to find a push clip, another one here, over this way, and then all the way over on the other side as well. Let's go ahead and remove all the rest of those push clips so we can fully take this piece down. Okay, let's go ahead and grab this, get it right out of the way. Now at this point, we can make our way right up to the back side of the fog lamp assembly here. You're going to find a pigtail, which is the wiring. I'm just going to go ahead and grab onto this tab where my thumb is, carefully pull it away. Every time you remove an electrical connector, you just want to inspect it. If you see any funny colors, it's corrosion and it needs to be dealt with. That looks fine, so let's continue. All right, now we're going to go ahead and go over to the passenger side. We'll do the same exact thing. Go ahead and grab onto this electrical connector here, pull on that tab, inspect the wire. We'll set that aside. Let's go ahead and move back over towards the center. You're going to find your air temp sensor. We're going to just come in here with our little fork tool. I'm going to carefully get in between this area and separate the two. Are. We can let that hang, and now let's move into our wheel wells. Inside of each wheel well, you're going to find that you have several push clips that hold this inner fender liner to the bumper cover. We're just going to go ahead and remove only the ones that are connected to the bumper cover, and then of course we'll make our way over and do the exact same thing on the other side of the vehicle. Okay, so now that we've got all the push clips out of the way, let's go ahead and push that fender liner a little bit, and then we're gonna look right up the corner right here of the bumper cover. You're gonna find a bolt that holds the bumper cover to the fender. Let's go ahead and use a 930 second socket. We'll get up in here, go ahead and remove that bolt. Once we have all of that out, we can continue on and do the exact same thing on the other side of the vehicle. There's that screw. Go ahead and pop this free. Let's use a small pocket screwdriver. We're going to carefully get underneath each of these ears on the bumper cover. We just want to separate the locked area so we can pop this free. Now this side's complete. We can continue over on the other side. Once that's popped free, we'll get up top and remove those push clips. Okay, back up top. We can start removing all of our push clips here. Now let's carefully grab onto that bumper cover. We're gonna start pulling it away from the vehicle. At the same time, I'm gonna grab onto one of the corners, start giving it a little tug so we can start removing it. Okay, there it is, friends. Now we're gonna start removing the grill from up here. To do that, I'm gonna start right in the center in this area here. I'll use a flat blade screwdriver. I'm gonna carefully get in between this area, gently pry, reach right here, separate the two. Now we're going to come along the bottom of the grill where it connects onto the bumper cover as well. We'll start releasing this from its holding points as well. So now that we have the grill off of there, let's continue on to the emblem. To remove this, we're going to go ahead and turn this right over. Now looking at the back side, we're going to come right here to each of these two tabs. All I'm going to do is carefully get in between along the edge, pry on that tab gently, gently press it down a little bit. Now I'll come over here, do the same thing, and we can pull it out right through the front. And there's that. Now we can get our emblem back into the grill. You want to make sure that you have your locking tabs lined up with the corresponding holes on the grill itself. Once you have it lined up, I'm just going to go ahead and press this in. 
listen for a click from both sides, and then I always come from the back side. I try to give it a little push. Essentially, I just want to make sure it's not going to fall out while I'm driving down the road. This is nice and secure, so we can continue. Now we can get the upper grille onto the bumper here. What we want to pay attention to is all of our locking tabs. They go all the way across the bottom of this, but we also want to pay attention to the center one as well. Looking at the bumper cover, you can see exactly where all of those tabs are supposed to go, and you probably remember from the removal process. So let's just go ahead and slide this in. We're going to line up this center hole right here. That kind of gives us a little guideline. Now we can bring this up and into position and start lining up all of our locking tabs along the bumper cover. Once you feel as though they're lined up, let's go ahead and press them in. There we are. Sometimes you have to start in the center, sometimes along an edge, whatever you have to do to get it locked in. Double check to make sure they're all secure. Make our way to the center here. Lock this in as well. Okay, this looks great. Okay, we're at the point where we're ready to start putting the bumper cover on. The areas that we want to pay attention to are along this area right here. That needs to fit up inside this area right directly underneath your headlamp assembly. You're going to have that on both sides of the vehicle. Also, we're going to pay attention to these areas along here. That needs to slide up and into this groove right here. That's how it gets held on. So as we start putting this up, we'll put in a couple push pins to hold it in the center. And then of course we need to start lining up each of the corners so we can continue on with the process. This is looking pretty good. I'm gonna grab two of my push clips. that lined up right inside there. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to come along the side here. You can see we have all these little cutouts. Those need to fit in along with all those press-in tabs. So I'm just going to go ahead and get this lined up. You can see that it fits along this grooved area here all the way across. Once it looks good, we'll just give it a couple loving bonks. And now we can go ahead and start putting in our screws and of course do the same on the other side. Go ahead and put in our push clips for over here. Slide that outer portion in, lock it in with the center. Now that we have this side back together, let's do the exact same thing on the other side of the vehicle. Now from under here, we can go ahead and reconnect in our air temp sensor. Just go ahead and press this right in. Make sure it's facing up towards where the grill area is here. Now it's time to connect in the fog lamp assembly. Go ahead and line it up, press it in. Listen for a click, give it a little wiggle to make sure it's secure. Now, of course, you're just going to want to do the same on the other side. Now it's time to install the lower splash shield here. You want to, of course, make sure that the mounting points of the splash shield line up with the corresponding holes on the bumper cover. For that also, you want to make sure that this is up and over the top, so the bumper cover is underneath the bottom, essentially. And slide this right in. Okay, now I'm going to line up all of my mounting holes here. Now we can start putting in our push clips. Start with the outer portion and just go ahead and lock it in with the center. Do the same on the other side of the vehicle. Let's do these centers. Now we can start putting in our last push clips here. 